Hey, 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 welcome back to Hadia K, the Goddess Palace. You are checking in with your girl, Hadia K. There's a lot of new changes that are going to be happening, okay? So this is Libra, money bag reading, what's going on with your money. Baby, we're going to go ahead and get it started, okay? So again, this is Libra, October 2021. All right, and we're going to get into it for my Libras, for YouTube, collectively, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mars, Mercury, Venus, whatever placement that you have, Libra in your chart, baby, okay? So we're going to see what's going on with my Libras for the month of October. Whatever dates that come out for you is the dates that you probably need to be paying attention to when it comes to your finances, or this can be anything involving like opportunities. New thing, maybe you're leaving a job, maybe you get some type of um message regarding where you're wanting to go, things like that. All right, so Libras collectively again. So, the dates that I'm getting here is October 4th, 7th, 9th. 11th, 13th, 11th through 13th, 18th, 19th, 20th, okay? I'm also getting Libra. It's going to be a good um, good sense for you to have uh, clear quartz, the clear quartz crystal, okay? I'm also getting um, the numbers, the numbers 6. 624, 625, 2 can also be significant for you, okay? So, let's see what's going on. So, Libras, I have mountain, right? So, I definitely feel like there's challenges or there's certain obstacles that you guys can be going towards. And maybe you're going towards something here, a time for healing. Maybe you're needing to rest and rejuvenate during this month. It is your birthday month here. So I feel like maybe you guys are going to be trying to get things going here, but I feel like there's a need for you guys to slow things down where it's like pay attention, pay attention to what you're doing, okay? The King of Gabriel in reverse is what I'm getting. So I feel like maybe there's things where you're trying to stabilize yourself or get yourself on a better path here. Maybe this is also you need to look at things in a new light. Okay, maybe this is also a masculine energy that can be trying to take from you or you can be um, so much worried about money or finances during this month that you're not looking at like the bigger picture. I'm also getting you guys are protected. Okay, you have your ancestors and spirit guides around you for the month of October, but I do feel like you guys are needing to remain cautious. Um, listening to your intuition, being open as well. So that's why I'm getting like the, it's like a time for healing. Maybe you're needing to go back into something here. Maybe you've been working on something um, and you, you might be needing to look at something a little bit differently is what I'm getting. This can also be conversations here. Um, this can also be like a comp, yeah, phone call, text message, email. Okay, maybe you're also getting a message here where everything is going to be all right. Maybe you guys are also worried about something coming into fruition for you. But I do feel like um, it is going to happen. Maybe it's just like with patience, timing as well. Divine timing is also at work. Okay. So we have the emperor reversed. King of Swords, Six of Wands reversed, the Sun is in reversed, Seven of Swords in reverse. Four of Cups here, Six of Pentacles, the Moon, and the Ten of Pentacles. So what this is telling me here is, again, you guys are maybe needing to look at your communication, how you communicate things as well. There might also be like a masculine energy, a boss, coworker, someone that's higher than you. Um, maybe that they're they're not in their best, their best. Um, so maybe someone's also being hard on you at work or at a job. But this is also you being hard on yourself. I definitely feel like you guys can also be losing passion or maybe you guys are unhappy that something isn't coming in as fast as you expect it to. Okay, I definitely feel like you're not really worried about the work 
the work um drama or this can also be gossip around you if you're also removing yourself from that you can also be removing yourself from a female or masculine energy that's a leo a capricorn or a taurus Libra, gemini aquarius okay as well scorpio cancer pisces any sign is really what i'm getting I definitely feel like you guys can also have Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Leo in your chart. And maybe this is why you're so unhappy, your ups and downs, because of planetary aspects as well. I definitely feel like there's things that are going to be happening where things are going to balance out. But I feel like there's need for you guys to listen to your intuition. You're also needing to grow, grow certain things in order for you to get the money or to get this recognition that you're expecting. I'm also getting opportunities are going to be given to you towards the end of October here. That's going to be very beneficial. That's going to make you more stable and secure as well. I feel like your intuition can also be letting you know that, or maybe you may have been manifesting this, and it's taking some time, maybe 10 months, 10 weeks, 10 years here, okay? Maybe you've been working on something, some type of idea, or maybe you've been working on something day in and day out, and then you're going to find into some type of payout pay out pay off like your hard work is paying off i definitely feel like you guys can also be involved in a situation where there's a female around you that may have children or maybe barren okay maybe they can't have children maybe they have children one to five children as well and someone could definitely be unhappy hating on you as well because of your opportunities as well as what i'm hearing libra but i feel like you're not really paying attention to that Okay, I definitely feel like as well, you guys can also be working on how you communicate. Maybe if you've been waiting for something, some type of promotion or job to come in, you're realizing like you just have to work for what you need. Work for what you want is what I'm getting, okay? Because I do feel like there is going to be some type of bliss with this Ten of Cups, okay? This is like success, fulfillment, emotional fulfillment. There's two tens here. So I feel like you definitely are making some type of money. You are getting some type of payout. There is some type of balance to your structure. Something is going to come towards you, come for you here, Libra. But I feel like it's like a waiting game here. I'm also getting maybe this is also having to do with your um your feelings, like your self-esteem. You're needing to have more confidence as well. Or it's like maybe you're not feeling confident. This can also be if you've been doing any type of spell work on the flip side against somebody. You guys can be seeing some type of um um anxiety here up at night as well or maybe you're just not confident self-esteem but this has to do with you and how you view yourself how you view others as well or maybe what you've been speaking out against somebody could be a another scorpio cancer pisces capricorn virgo taurus or um, another libra and they can have this in their chart okay is also what i'm getting so for the month of october i definitely feel like libras a lot of things are going to be popping off for you um for some of you i do feel like there's a need for you guys to be patient for and letting things happen others of you i feel like there's a need for you guys to work towards what you need okay things are not going to just happen out the blue okay i definitely feel like there's also opportunities that you guys are waiting on that is going to happen you just need to believe in it yourself again with this confidence and self-esteem Okay, so things are definitely going to be paying off for you. It just may not be at the time that you want it, but it is going to come. 